Batting eighth, the only Oakland catcher to be elected by fans to start in an All-Star game. Number 36, Terry Steinbach. Underneath the blimp, downtown Cincinnati. There's a drive into right field. It backs Strawberry all the way back. Figure. Well, number six on the year, something that does not happen very often off Doc Gooden. He doesn't really catch up, but he likes the ball away as you see the jubilation. 16 last year, six this year, but he did fracture his orbital bone earlier in the year. Take another look at it. And he got his hands in. You can see how strong he is. 6'5. Darrell Strawberry almost catches it. And it saves a run for the moment. And then the next pitch is hit high in the air to left field. Deep enough to score a run. Back goes Coleman, makes the catch on the track. Winfield scores easily to make it 2 nothing. And Steinbach comes within about eight feet of hitting a grand slam homer. Well, for a guy that's not supposed to be here, he had a grand slam swing. I mean, we already saw him homer to right field. That's a helicopter on a ball up and in. Great at bat extension. Looking for a pitch he knows he can hit a fly ball in and does. Pretty good piece of hitting. So Steinbach has driven in both runs. The American League leads 2-0, two, 2 out and 2 on. Al, it's Terry Steinbach, the catcher for the Oakland Athletics. He is the Chevrolet Major League Baseball most valuable player in the All-Star game. And here to present it, the sales manager for the Chevrolet Motor Division, Otto LeBron Jr. Mr. LeBron, let's have the presentation. Congratulations, Terry. On behalf of Chevrolet Motor Division, I'd like to present you with this most valuable player award. Super job. Thank you very much. Well, Terry, let me ask you. I told you to stick around. You might get this way back when, but let's talk about the home run, your first time at bat in an All-Star game. Well, you know, I was just going up there. You know, there was, there was so much excitement for me tonight, and uh, just went up there, and I was just going to see the ball and hit it hard, you know, just to try not to strike out, basically. And when I, when I got good, good wood on it, you know, and the ball went out of the park, it was just the highlight of my career. Looked like Strawberry had a crack at it. Yeah, he did. You know, when I went up, when I was rounding first base, I just kind of looked and, and saw the ball bounce. And, you know, I, I don't know what happened, if it hit his glove or if it hit the fence, but I saw the umpire wave me around, and, and I continued running. It hit the top of the wall. Then you came back with a sacrifice fly, which was a game-winning RBI. Well, you know, there's a situation uh, uh, Tom Kelly talked about in the clubhouse said, you know, you guys are all professionals out here. Uh, you know, if a situation comes for, a, let's say, sacrifice fly or a bunt, you know, just go ahead and do it. So right there, I was just looking to drive in a run. You know, my base is loaded, you know, and only up by one. And, you know, I got a pitch up and, you know, was able to hit a fly ball with it. Now, a lot of people said, why is Terry Steinbach the starting catcher, that this voting situation is out of hand? You kind of quieted those critics. Well, you know, I, I took a lot of heat about that, you know, for about two, two to three weeks, and, and I was just going to come here and, and play hard, you know, like I said, all, all the way through this, and, and hope for the best. And, and, you know, it came out tonight, you know, that I had the home run, had a sack fly, and, and you know, won the MVP. It's interesting, isn't it? You start the year with an eye injury, then you have a collision at home plate, but good things are starting to happen to you. Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> I, I hope they continue for us for the second half. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Gary Steinbach, the Chevrolet most valuable player in this All-Star game. Let's go back to Al. 